Hold on. There you go. I was like, it's just you and your grandma here. You see what I'm saying? Like, if it's just you and your grandmother, then why would somebody be telling you that? Now I understand. And he done lost so much weight, he trying to act like he don't understand. Every time he gets somewhere, he be doing his faith. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's over his head. No, it's not. You are one of the dumb motherfuckers that's doing it. Kevin Fry. Okay, that's it. Y'all, it's Shantae Brown. She could talk on the black unicorns. I'm done. Like, it's like I'm done. I can't. I can't. So today, I, I look on the... I was, like, posting videos. I was posting about how somebody was talking in my room or something like that, and the person was, like, she in there washing her pussy. Let me tell y'all, this is something I learned, and I'm going to keep teaching why they doing all this dumb shit. I was like, what? You know what I'm saying? So I just went ahead and finished washing up, okay? I was like, you know, when I told y'all I do the video, I'll teach you about sexual health later. Well, douche. You don't have to douche anymore. You could just wipe your vagina off with a rag and you just flip it. You know what I'm saying? To make sure when you wash it, you don't use soap inside your vagina. You just wash the outside of your vagina, meaning it's the labia. Y'all see what I'm saying? And if you want to wash it, cleanse anything else, you can use a vaginal wash. And it's that you can make them at home with like rose water and different things like that, hydrogen peroxide, different things. It's like recipes online if you want to do that. Or you can buy yourself one. It's just a gentle cleanser for your vagina. That's it. But nobody needs to be anywhere saying that this is what I'm doing inside of this room. I'm telling you, Marquita High just told me this when I was little and I, y'all, I did not believe her. And it's not that I didn't believe. I just didn't know what she was saying. I'm just asking questions like, so it's just you and your grandmother here. So is it a man that comes over? She said, no. I said, so it's a man coming out to watch you, Marquita? She said, no. And sometimes she wouldn't answer me. She just, I just asked her the question. She just be like, he just be telling me what I'm supposed to do when I'm in the bathroom. And so you just like, why would this person be telling you what to do in the bathroom? And so this whole time I've been telling y'all, every time they do something, they want to come to in St. Louis, Cahokia, St. Louis to do these experiments. Like, you know, the uh, what they do when I was in school, they did the uh, the birth control. So they had people get on birth control. I'm talking about some of them, they already be kind of cute, like Lanisha Sanders. Lanisha Sanders was an athlete. She's had birth control. She blew up. And has not looked the same since. She already had acne on her face. I know where she blew up and now she, you see what I'm saying? She ain't looked the same since. And she was a cute little shape. And so you just start looking at the girls. They start getting that birth control, that Depovera. And it'll be like their whole body changed. Like everything changed on them. And you just like, why? Because Lanisha Sanders, as she had a personality too, she was kind of goofy and funny. All these things that y'all see on TV that make people interesting, that is how the people are here. When I got to Bluffview Park, that's when everything started changing. So Lanisha Sanders, I met her after Bluffview Park. But before I been in Bluffview Park, I was the only person in my classroom with a fucking personality. Now, every time one of them, I see them, I see y'all, y'all out here at the library, sitting on the steps or wherever y'all at, where y'all trying to see where I am, who I am. You see what I'm saying? Because they tore everything down over there. They all look like crackheads. So it's like, what is going on? Like, what are y'all doing this to people for? They burnt down part of Morrison, all that stuff. Y'all stole that stuff from Morrison too. You killed Miss Thompson. It's just like some of this stuff is just out of control. And then for the teachers that was like, y'all try to make them into crackheads too. This has been like, like y'all since 1987. This is 2022. But what they saying is the truth. Like every, y'all think this stuff a conspiracy theory and it's not. Like they, 35 years. 
of terrorism, of stealing the entire culture of East St. Louis. Like it's not a joke. And that's why I was just trying to tell them if it is, uh, that's what y'all do need to dush. Y'all need to get y'all dumb asses out. I'm not joking. If you growing up in a community where everybody there has a talent, a skill, you go to an entire school and it's like a band and y'all got people on the field. I'm talking about my family too. We got writers, athletes, all this stuff. We can't never be successful. It's always something in a way. Somebody got to go to jail. They had to make up something for my cousin to go to jail. My cousin Terrell, they just going to make up something. He got he got to be in a, a house, some kind of halfway house. For what? Like what was wrong with the house we was in? It's like they just keep making up bullshit. And it's like, what the fuck are y'all fucking with our kids for? And you won't step to me because you're not going to punch you in your fucking face. So y'all took the jobs. They didn't taught y'all something. Y'all going to come back and try to hurt the community? I just ain't never seen nothing like this. Then I, y'all, I'm online posting that, right? So then I look up and it says, Courtney Kardashian is an autosexual. Y'all, every time a car go by, I be like, damn. Y'all see what I'm saying? Damn. Like, I be looking at the car like it's a woman. So then I'm looking on there. They start talking about the narcissism, all the different stuff. That's the same thing I said in my show. The same thing I said in the show, and I think it's in January 2021. The year, you see what I'm saying? The year y'all tried to kill me and kidnap my child. So it's like, what the fuck is it? We don't want you taking our life. I got my own personality. I can write for myself. Y'all, I'm talking about y'all didn't gave it to every bitch out there. I'm everything on TV. Then y'all start stealing my mama personality. Now y'all want to make candy apples and candy this and candy. And it's like, y'all did that so y'all can have a candy apple business. Y'all murdered my mama so y'all can have a candy apple. You murdered my grandmother for a candy apple business. So you can start trying to make people have they not have a soul. Like this stuff is serious. Like they are actually doing this shit. Y'all, I'm just I can't. It ain't even nothing else to talk about today. Fuck all this dumb shit. Like it's like, how much shit can we actually like get done if they out here really doing this stuff? I'm talking about you that put me in a whole world of people that's stupid. All because I'm a better scientist than you. Huh. That's it. I got something. I, that's it. I put all this stuff down to do something. It's like, I can't. What the fuck? And it's somebody everywhere. Now I'm walking down the street. Here come the black police. But they ain't got the blue uniforms on. Who are the police? Where are the police at? Okay, let me just go over this so I can go ahead and round out the show. Clean as you go. Remember, I talked to y'all about that. Make some soapy dish water. Do what you have to do. If you in a situation where you got to wash your clothes and your hand, clean them at night, leave plenty of time. Make sure you have enough time to move around, do what you have to do. Get up early. It's so good to get up early and feel good about yourself. Visualize the day. Make it there for you. Prepare lunches the night before. Actually, I like to prefer them in the morning. Get everything ready the night before because the bread... It's not always soft. You see what I'm saying? Do you anticipate situations or react to them? I think I did this one, right? I, I don't. I just react to them. Do you spend more time lighting fires or putting them out? Putting them out. Do you buy time by getting less sleep and then lose time because you're overtired? No, I don't. I don't do that. Um, do you buy things because you think you like them only to return them later? Nope, I don't. If I like it, I'm going to try to keep it. After making decisions, do you look forward or backward? I look forward. And then somebody else will come and then start talking on this bullshit, trying to analyze a show or something like that, and have me looking backward. Y'all understand? We need help here because they are actually doing this shit. Those people at St. Vincent de Paul Shelter are actually going crazy because of this shit they're doing. They had them live the same year 
over and over again. Like they actually doing this shit for real. It is a crazy motherfucker down here making people do this stuff. These people actually, we don't even know why they crazy. We don't. Let me get the address. It's too much. I'm talking about what y'all do just send her. Who's going to be a scientist with her? Who's going to 3718 State Street, East St. Louis, Illinois, 62205. They are actually crazy. The man across the street is actually crazy. The one I'm telling you is the Muslim that like killing black people, talking about he going to collect their stuff. He is crazy. Cecil Hall is crazy. They are actual serial killers. If they get people in the hospital, they'll try to kill them inside the hospital, whether they have something wrong with them or not. If they know too much, they're going to try to put them in a psych ward. If they know anything that's truthful, they're going to, oh, she got to go. No, they don't. No, they don't. They need to get the fuck away from you. And they walk in smiling and like everything okay. It's not. We actually need help. They had a, the, what is it, the guard down there too. They don't do anything but what they assigned to do. They actually need to start going into the city and seeing what the people act like. And especially at St. Vincent de Paul. And you have to stay there all day. Don't just go in and I'm saying do it for a week. So you can start to see how the people are and when they coming in and what they doing. Because the stuff makes no sense at all. Listen to what they saying. Listen to how they repeat themselves. Then come back on another random week. And I'm pretty sure they're going to probably be saying the same thing and repeating themselves again because you are there. Somebody going to come to you and have the same conversation. Listen to my show. They'll come in and just start saying shit from my show because they got East St. Louis on it. They have never been there before in their life. Some people even think that we part of St. Louis, Missouri, and it's East St. Louis, Illinois. They are doing this for real. Go check out the work, the, the mental institution that was in Alton. Then look at how big it was. What happened to the people? I never even knew it was there. Don't nobody want to go through this shit with y'all. That's it. Have a good day. And Shantae Brown should have talked on the black unicorn selling you to fuck off. Dush. Dush. Do a mental dush. Have a great day.